It's 10 trivia questions on Kevin Smith movies for Patreon subscriber Casey Corey. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and thanks for subscribing so you never miss a new episode on your podcast listening app. You are the lifeblood of the show. So thank you so much for supporting it on Patreon, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. You can pick a topic that I record just for you for $5 a month. Go check it out, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Today's episode all about one of my favorite directors, comedians, speakers, Kevin Smith. He is uh, fantastic. I've gotten to ask him a question um, once. I was going to say twice, but I've been to a couple events where he was there. Um, But one of those events I got to ask him a question at. It was Clerks 2 at the Chicago Comic Con of some kind when Clerks 2 came out. And I got to ask him a question in the audience about uh, religious imagery and themes of Clerks 2. And uh, he talked about that. So it was very cool. Um, so love me some Kevin Smith. Hope you do too. This will be a fun episode for you if you do. Before we get to that, we have our categories game. The day's letter is J. And we have things found in New York, parks, and reasons to make a phone call. Things found in New York, parks, and reasons to make a phone call. All right, we are warmed up, ready to go. We're going to dive into some Kevin Smith movie trivia right now for Casey Corey. Here we go. It's Kevin Smith movies. Here's question number one. In Mallrats, what is the first name of the character played by Joey Lauren Adams? Number one in Mallrats, what is the first name of the character played by Joey Lauren Adams? Number two, finish this title from the Kevin Smith Askewniverse, Blunt Man and Blank. Number two, finish the title, Blunt Man and Blank. Number three, what is the name of the golden calf in Dogma? Is it Scooby, Mooby, Scrappy, or Shaggy? What's the name of the golden calf in Dogma? Scooby, Mooby, Scrappy, or Shaggy? Number four, which of the Kevin Smith movies would, in which of the Kevin Smith movies would you find a comic book store called Brody's Secret Stash? In which movie would you find Brody's Secret Stash? Question number five, what is the name of Kevin Smith's real-life daughter? What is the name of Kevin Smith's real-life daughter? Number six, who did Kevin Smith's wife, Jennifer Schwalbach Smith, play in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back? Number six, who did Kevin Smith's wife, Jennifer Schwalbach Smith, play in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back? Number seven, which of the following films does Kevin Smith make a cameo appearance in? Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, Scream 3, Goodwill Hunting, or American Pie 2? Which of the following films does Kevin Smith make a cameo appearance in? Phantom Menace, Scream 3, Goodwill Hunting, American Pie 2. Question number eight, what Canadian songstress plays God in Dogma? Number eight, what Canadian songstress plays God in Dogma? Number nine, what does Randall sell to the little girl in Clerks? What does Randall sell to the little girl in Clerks? Number 10, Meow Mix is the name of the bar in which Kevin Smith movie. Meow Mix is the name of a bar in which Kevin Smith movie. And your bonus harder question for this quiz, what was the full name of the Die Hard movie Kevin Smith was in, and what was his character's name in that movie? 
what was the name of the diehard movie Kevin Smith was in and what was his character's name. Those are all your questions for Kevin Smith movies. We'll be back with the answers right after this. We are back with the answers to Kevin Smith movie trivia. We've uh, done this once or twice before on the podcast, but this is a new batch of questions written by my brother Scott Buds for Casey Corey. Here's number one. In Mallrats, what was the first name of the character played by Joey Lauren Adams? That is Gwen. Gwen is her name. She is sort of the uh, spirit guide to the main character, uh, female character in the movie uh, that's trying to get back together with T.S. or breaks up with him and then eventually gets back together with him. Uh, Number two, finish the title, Blunt Man and Chronic. Blunt Man and Chronic, the superheroes that Jay and Silent Bob uh, have alter egos for in the View Askewniverse. Number three, what's the name of the golden calf in Dogma and then later in Clerks 2 and other things, the fast food restaurant, Mooby. Moobies, number three. Number four, what is the Kevin Smith movie where you'd find Brody's secret stash? That is Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Number five, what is Kevin Smith's daughter's name? That's Harley Quinn Smith. Harley Quinn. Number six, who did Kevin Smith's wife Jennifer play in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back? That's Missy. She plays the character Missy. Number seven, which of the following films does Kevin Smith make a cameo appearance in? That is Scream 3. And it's sort of a weird uh, cameo because it's Jay and Silent Bob as those characters on a film lot when they're filming like one of the Stab movies in Scream 3. So it's it's very interesting. Number eight, what Canadian songstress plays God in Dogma? Alanis Morissette. Number nine, what does Randall sell to a little girl in Clerks? Cigarettes. Number 10, Meow Mix is the name of a bar in Chasing Amy, and uh, Kevin Smith was in Die Hard uh, 4, which was Live Free or Die Hard, and his character's name was Warlock. I believe he was a hacker. And there you go. Some Kevin Smith movie trivia on this fine day. Hope you had a good time playing along. Your fact of the day is the subs sold at the very first Subway sandwich shop were only 49 cents. 49 cents for a six-inch sandwich. That'd be pretty good. Pretty good deal. And your letter J for categories, things found in New York. How about jaywalkers? People jaywalking in those streets. Parks, we'll say um, Joe Semity National Park. That's not a real thing. Uh, a park, I have no uh, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know a lot of park names off the top of my head. And how about uh, reasons to make a phone call? Uh, you got arrested for jaywalking and you're in jail. No, uh, reasons to make a phone call for um, uh, uh, jury duty. You got to get out of jury duty. So you call them up and try and tell them you can't make it because you're having your appendix taken out on that same day. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.